Hey there lads and ladies, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be diving into a game that is generating a lot of buzz, Firewall Ultra. I am your host Petrifying Pumpkins and today we're going to talk about 12 essential things that you need to know about this exciting title. Firewall Ultra, developed by First Contact Entertainment, is a PSVR 2 exclusive title set to release on the 24th of August this month. It's primarily a tactical online PvP multiplayer shooter, but it also comes with a PvE mode that promises to be a refreshing addition to the franchise. The game will be available in two editions. So the standard edition is going to be $40 and 40 euro and also 35 in sterling. Whereas the digital deluxe edition is going to be 60 euro, $60 and 50 pound sterling. And if you do go for the digital deluxe edition, you will get access to certain bonuses, including a special legendary weapon, early access to four contractors, four exclusive outfits for the contractors, four camouflages for weapons, and an op pass for the first operation. Head to the objective now. So the main mode of Firewall Zero Hour is called Contracts and it makes a return from the predecessor Firewall Zero Hour. This mode pits four players against another four players as they both attack and defend a laptop. If you're interested, the risk is high, but so is the reward. Now while there is little information available about the co-op slash PvE mode, First Contact Entertainment have promised that it's going to be something a little bit different from the previous incarnation that we had in Firewall Zero Hour. And it's definitely an aspect of the game worth keeping an eye on. Never there. If you're compromised, you're on your own. If you're familiar with Firewall Zero Hour, you will recognize many of the contractors and maps making a return from that game. Now these contractors each have their own unique skills. However, the one new contractor that we know about is called Havoc has a combination of two skills that were available in the first game. So that hints at possibly some exciting changes in the skill system for Firewall Ultra. Firewall Ultra is set to run in Unreal Engine 5 and that should bring about some significant improvements both visually and performance wise. One of the major improvements is the move to dedicated servers which should put an end to the host issues that were experienced in Firewall Zero Hour. In response to player feedback, the main mode contracts will now consist of a best out of three formats. This should maximize gameplay and minimize the amount of time that people spend waiting around in lobbies for the matches to start. Head to the objective now. Hurry up. Speaking of the lobby, the game's lobby has now been transformed into an interactive environment that you and your friends can hang out in. You can check out your weapons at the shooting range, or you can mess around with novelty items. Uh, soccer ball was given as an example by First Contact Entertainment. If you're interested, the risk is high, but so is the reward. Firewall Ultra is taking full advantage of the PSVR 2 hardware and the Sense controllers, utilizing features such as haptic feedback and adaptive triggers. While some people will be disappointed to hear that manual reloading will not be there at launch, there is set to be a mode releasing post launch called Ultra Mode, and this will be like a hardcore type of mode which will allow manual reloading and stuff like friendly fire. Never there. If you're compromised, you're on your own. Expect eye tracking to play a significant role in Firewall Ultra, not just to improve visuals with foveated rendering, but also for gameplay features such as selecting items in a weapon wheel, aiming your grenades, and even blocking flashbang effects by closing your eyes before it detonates. Mm -hmm. 
with the power of Unreal Engine 5, Lysine has been overhauled in Firewall Ultra. It's one of the features that First Contact Entertainment themselves continuously have been highlighting. This will allow for maps to be darker than they were in Firewall Zero Hour and also make way for the functionality of flashlights and night vision goggles, opening up new strategic possibilities that were not available in Firewall Zero Hour. Keep in mind that Firewall Ultra is going to be a digital only release, at least at launch. So hopefully, fingers crossed, there will be some kind of a physical release not too much further down the line. Are you ready? While much remains a mystery about Firewall Ultra, I think it's pretty clear that First Contact Entertainment are gonna be pushing some boundaries when it comes to Firewall Ultra and what the PSVR 2 can do. With its PSVR 2 exclusivity, allowing it to take full advantage of the hardware and the promise of all kinds of exciting new features, this is certainly a game to keep your eyes on. Be sure to stay tuned to this channel before launch for any new updates or information that's made available. And there you have it, 12 essential things that you need to know about Firewall Ultra. If you are as moist as I am about this game, then be sure to like, subscribe, button, ding the bells and all that usual shite, leave the comments and all that. Before I end the video, let me thank Decepticon for letting me use his music in all of my videos. You can check out the link to his stuff in the description below. And also let me thank my channel members for their continued support. They are as follows. Purple Unicorn Ga, Muzz. Dead Eye Dan, I've never seen such behavior in the war room before. Chopped PPE, Mr. 777, No One Knows, Move Master, Make the Shape Throwing, PS Viewer Gamecast, Deej the Pumpkin Patch Kid, Pete Hawkins, and Crum or KRMB, I'm not sure how they should pronounce that, so I'll go with Crum. That's what I've been doing for years. If you'd like to become a member and support the channel, you can hit the join button somewhere below me right now. Thank you very much for watching, and please stay moist.